Cardiovascular diseases represent the main cause of death in the world. They are also the main cause of loss of quality of life and productivity in the society. The high cost associated with treatment of the disease, once symptoms appear, is unsustainable for healthcare systems and entails a huge burden to individuals. Finic is a mission-driven center whose ultimate goal is to improve cardiovascular health. To meet the challenge, the CINIC has defined three key goals. First, to better understand cardiovascular health to prevent the development of cardiovascular diseases. The second, to prevent the development of cardiovascular diseases. And the third, to refine treatment once symptoms appear. To accomplish these ambitious goals, it is key to advance research at the molecular, cellular and pathophysiology level with the final aim of promoting cardiovascular health and to improve diagnosis and treatment of disease when prevention has failed. To meet these challenges, the FENIC has had to adapt. We have moved on from a structure based on three research areas to one built around seven research programs. These programs embrace approaches from basic research to advanced clinical trials that deliver real health benefits and are built upon proven experience and root in advanced technological expertise in cell and animal models, imaging modalities and massive data processing and analysis. The long-term goal of CENIC is to ensure the translation of knowledge into a real benefit to the society and to return to the society the great investment made in our institution. Our accreditation as a Severo Ochoa Center of Excellence helps us in the training of the researchers of the future. Basic and critical researchers are trained to guarantee a future collaboration that will result in the translation of scientific discoveries to the society and on the other hand to keep the community aware of the unmet clinical needs to allow focusing investigation into this. The teams in this program conduct translational research into the genetic, molecular and cellular mechanisms that regulate the development of atherosclerosis, which is the underlying cause of the most frequent coronary and cerebrovascular disorders. Atherosclerosis is an inflammatory condition that occurs due to an exacerbated inflammatory response to chronic exposure to cardiovascular risk factors. The two main areas of interest in the program are studies of the subclinical development of atherosclerosis in the PESA cohort and experimental research into new regulatory mechanisms of atherosclerosis using cell and animal models. The Mercury program investigates the pathological mechanisms responsible for different forms of cardiac injury. We mainly focus on diseases with a genetic basis, such as hereditary cardiomyopathies. And also, we focus on other diseases that appear as a response to cancer treatments, for example, anthracyclines, which can cause irreversible cardiac injury in many patients. Other work in the program has deciphered the regulation of the rigidity of a giant protein, which is named titin, which is responsible for the muscle elasticity. With the aim of improving the treatment of these diseases, we work to develop specific and efficient diagnostic and therapeutic tools using cellular and animal models, principally mice and pigs, as well as clinical trials in humans. The scientists of the Cardiovascular Regeneration Program investigate different ways to activate cardiac regeneration. Because the adult human heart lacks the capacity to regenerate after injury, the loss of myocardial tissue that is a feature of so many cardiac disorders is irreversible and frequently results in fatal heart failure. The aim of this program is to identify endogenous mechanisms that stimulate the regenerative capacity of the heart and vasculature in order to design new therapies. We use different strategies and animal and cellular models that allow us to design new pathways to activate cardiac regeneration in the adult mammalian heart. This multidisciplinary program integrates biological and computational data 
with the aim of generating advanced knowledge about the mechanisms underlying complex cardiac arrhythmias. This strategy will allow us to develop advanced, personalized models for stratifying risk for inherited arrhythmias, such as lethal ventricular arrhythmias associated with sudden cardiac death. We investigate acquired and inherited cardiac arrhythmias. Our research focuses on cellular pathways and cardiac remodeling involved in each disorder, and that are important for arrhythmia maintenance and the development of potentially fatal ventricular arrhythmias. This program studies the mechanisms involved in the cognitive impairment associated with cardiovascular disease and its risk factors such as hypertension, high cholesterol and diabetes. We use the knowledge gained to promote cardiovascular health at an early age and to develop strategies to prevent the appearance of cognitive impairment with age. We pursue these goals within the framework of three defined research areas. The first area examines the association between atherosclerosis and Alzheimer's disease at preclinical stages. Our research into the links between Alzheimer's disease and vascular changes has revealed that subclinical atherosclerosis and vascular risk are associated with cerebral hypometabolism in asymptomatic individuals aged 50 years. We are also working on the identification of blood, plasma and neuroimaging markers of Alzheimer's disease based on disease factors. Our goal with this program is to improve prevention and health promoter strategies in order to reduce the societal burden of cardiovascular diseases and increase life expectancy free of other chronic diseases like dementia and cancer. While much of the, our effort focuses on prevention strategies in children and adolescents, we also aim to improve primary prevention of atherosclerosis in young adults and to ensure that the knowledge gained is translated into health promotion initiatives that benefit the whole of society. The program comprises a diverse group of research experts from disciplines including cardiology, nutrition, physical activity, biology, psychology, pedagogy, education and biostatistics. The CENIC has 11 technical units dedicated to ensuring that the center maintains its pioneer position in cardiovascular research by developing and implementing leading-edge biomedical research technologies. The 11 technology development units place the CENIC at the cutting edge across the full spectrum of biomedical research, from the most basic to the in vitro test, in preclinical models, and finally in the population. Thanks to these units, the CENIC can carry out the analysis of genes, proteins, and cells, DNA sequencing and editing, microscopy, big data analysis, advanced imaging technology, in vitro and preclinical models of disease, and finally, the clinical trials in human populations. The long-term goal of the CENIC is to ensure the translation of key new knowledge into real benefits for society, as well as a return on the public investment in the center. Our accreditation as a Severo Ochoa Center of Excellence help us in our efforts towards this goal by providing core support for key research programs involving basic and clinical researchers. The Severo Ochoa accreditation also greatly strengthens our programs for training tomorrow's scientists and cardiologists.